A alone can do a work in 14 days. B alone can do the same work in 28 days. C alone can do the same work in 56 days. They start the work together and completed the work such that B was not working on last two days. And A did not work in last three days. In how many days total work was completed? Here A can complete a work in 14 days. B can complete it in 28 days. And C can complete it in 56 days. All are doing the same work. Take the LCM. LCM is 56. 14 goes 4 times in 56, 28 goes 2 times in 56, 56 goes 1 time in 56. Total work is 56 and A can complete 4 unit in 1 day, B can complete 2 unit in 1 day and C can complete 1 unit in 1 day. Here C alone worked for all the days because B was not working on last 2 days. So for the last 2 days B was not working and A did not work in last 3 days. So in last three days, A did not work. A did not work for the last three days. And in last two days, B did not work. Which means in last two days, C only worked. C can complete one unit in one day means in two days, C completed two unit. And in the third last day, B and C worked. So B and C can complete two plus one, three unit in one day. So last third day, B and C completed 3 units. So total 5 units completed in 3 days. So 56 units is the total work. Out of this 56, 5 units completed in 3 days by B and C. So 56 minus 5, 51 units is the remaining work. So this 51 unit, this 51 unit completed by A, B, C together. Now, a, B and C together can complete 4 plus 2 plus 1, 7 unit of work. So, number of days taken by A, B, C to complete this 56 unit is equal to 51 by 7 plus remaining 5 unit completed in 3 days. So, total 7 into 3, 21 plus 51 is 72 divided by 7 days. Option 4 is your answer.